We have had some bumps in the road, especially during all the different levels, like that hybrid and then um, virtual, and then now going all like five days a week. The like most challenging parts, you know, have been like filling in the gaps of uh, where uh, COVID has kind of affected us. Like, you know, we can't have a um, homecoming or prom spread, so like we have to think about what's going to fill that. And uh, getting that content can kind of be, you know, a little challenging. Uh, we have to ask people questions, or we have to have spreads in the book that we've never had before um, that you know there's normally not room for but um, you know just kind of thinking outside the box you're gonna take on that little project because yeah, yeah, yeah. we need someone to do it. I can do it who can also do your book at the same time yeah, yeah. okay cool. cool thank you thank you so here in your book um, we do our pages but we also have to think about getting pictures um, of like games and practices and stuff so while everyone's finishing their deadline and we're getting closer to the book we have to start thinking about spring even though it's not even spring yet so um, I am going to have Alex kind of take head of getting practice photos and things like that. So I started doing like the quotes up on the board I think like once we started back up from winter break. I felt like because it helps with motivation, I mean, some people like to look at them and then, I mean, I like to just say it spreads positivity. Oh my god, the first is editing. People are going to notice that. So it helps everyone keep one in check. And also, if you keep editing, people are gonna make fewer mistakes. You know, you learn from your mistakes and all of that. So um, it's very, very, very important. Well, what happens if like, a mistake gets printed in the book? Get, gets printed, it's printed. And then half the time, not half the time, a lot of the time, um, we kind of get flack for it. Okay, so I was interviewing Coach Sodeman about um, teaching the boys varsity basketball team and I'm writing a story about it in your book so I had to ask him questions about a picture um, of his game plan of all the teammates gathering around so I just asked him about what his game plan normally is for games and then he mentioned that he's doing districts tonight so then I wished him good luck. So basically when we're interviewing for yearbook, we'll look at the schedule and we'll go to the class that the student is in and we'll pull them out of class and just ask them a couple questions regarding what page they're on. So I just interviewed Aiden Kelly for the winter wrestling page because I'm on the wrestling spread for the season. My brother was wrestling so I thought it would be fun to be on the wrestling page and it went well. So now I'm going to take the quotes that he said and put them on the page. Dan, Dan, the yearbook man, he is our Herb Jones rep, so he comes in and like teaches us, um, and also we can show him our work and like you know he can give us advice and stuff on like uh, designing and you know making sure we carry the theme throughout the book. Um, he helps us a lot at the beginning of the year, um, like creating the cover, um, adding fun things to the cover, like pop-ups and fun you know texture stuff. With one of the captions that I did, I had finished it, and then they took it and used it for a different thing. And I went, oh, you gotta be kidding me, right? You, you couldn't have taken a different person other than this one, really? Okay, whatever. 
And I, I'm a yes man. I, I kind of just go along with it if it makes other people happy. But it's like, it, it that stressed me out big time. Because I was like, oh, that's an extra caption that I have to do. And a whole other person I have to find. And some people you can't track down. Like, you go to their class and they're just not there. And it's like, oh, they're not absent today. Well, well then where are they? I don't know. And you go back the next day and they're not there. summer yearbook camp yeah right? yeah camp, and then go virtual <laughs> virtual, yearbook, virtual camp. yearbook camp oh my god no this year has been a daisy for sure and then a a days and b days a days and b days where you were here what b days and I was here yes. a days half of the staff split in half Ugh, long nights google meets google meets with mr with hall mr. yeah oh. mr hall well looking back at this year me and rhett were both a little nervous and hesitant of how it was going to be. Um, we were nervous, especially because a lot of our staff members were new. Yeah. And we didn't know how to handle that. Um, we, and had to, we had to start from scratch with the new staff and exactly. start from scratch on how we ran a yearbook class. Exactly, especially because we're two, like we were two brand new editors. We yeah, didn't, we didn't, both of our editors graduated. So we didn't really, we just had to figure out ourselves and everyone else had to figure it out. Yearbook has been a big part of my life for three years and I'm happy to call everyone on the staff um, one of my good friends and, <laughs> and I'm excited to see what you guys do in the future, especially uh, Rhett and when he takes over, um, what happens and even how little sophomores, how they will grow when they're seniors. So the outcome for all of that would be really nice. So goodbye guys and good luck in the future. All right, I just wanna thank everybody on this yearbook staff this year. This, this is my 16th year teaching and this is one of the most memorable years I've ever had. Uh, it's a special year, it's one that I'm gonna remember forever. I mean, a lot has happened this year, uh, we, we started the school year, not knowing you know, really what to expect. Are we gonna have a yearbook? Yes, we know we're gonna have a yearbook. What's it gonna look like? Are we gonna be in school very long? Um, There's a lot of questions. And I think th what impressed me most about this yearbook staff and the publication students in general is like they stayed so calm. Um, and I've said it before and I'll say it again that a lot of times through this whole thing, the students have handled the big events that have happened in our country so much more at ease than adults. Um, so I'm just like very grateful for each and every person on this staff and the contributions that they've made. Um, they've made coming to school a lot of fun for me. Um, I enjoy it I enjoy every single day um, coming here and every day is different 
Um, and it's, it's special. This is a special year. It's a special group. I mean, I know it's towards the end of the year where everybody's kind of wanting to get things wrapped up and start their summers, but it'll truly be a year to remember. One thing I'm going to remember about this year, we've had a lot of amazing events um, in yearbook and even beyond that um, with the live streaming and everything. Um, is the Google Meets at the beginning of the year. I mean, it seems like it was like years ago, but those Google Meets and when we were hybrid and virtual, those were so important and they were fun. They were entertaining. We had a good time on it. I think we really kind of started to build like a sense of camaraderie with the staff even then. And a lot of people didn't even know who they, who each other were. This was a yearbook staff that, um, there were a lot of new faces and a lot of people didn't know each other. And so that was like the real starting point of kind of building that chemistry with this group. And once we were all together as, as a staff, um, it just really picked up from there. Um, it's a staff where I feel like everybody really gets along with one another, respects each other. We have different types of work styles. And that's the thing that I've learned too as an advisor is that everybody, you know, learns differently, works differently, and there's lots of ways to find success and not just one way. And I think that this group does such a great job working well under pressure and um, meeting deadlines. We met every single one of our deadlines this year. So, and that, is due to just like the culture that that our leaders have instilled in the room and every person in the class. I mean, they come in, they know it's a place that they feel comfortable, they're, they can have fun while they're doing a huge project um, and something that that they'll have for the rest of their lives. You know, this, this, this is a very momentous year in, the, in, in our history and here in our school, we'll always have this awesome uh, yearbook to remember those experiences. And I hope when they look back at yearbook, they'll remember the relationships and the friendships that they made on this staff, because I'm never gonna forget this group.